Inchy inchworm. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchy inchworm was ill. Mummy inchworm took Inchy inchworm to the inchworm hospital. You have itchy pox, said Doctor B. Well soon, you must stay in the inchworm hospital until your itchy pox is gone. Nurse Ladybug gave Inchy inchworm a ride to his hospital room in a wheelchair. After Nurse Ladybug gave Inchy Inchworm a shot, she left the room. Inchy Inchworm looked all around the room. Inchy Inchworm saw a black knob on his bed. The black knob made the bed go up and down. Suddenly, Inchy Inchworm heard giggles on the other side of the curtain in his room. Please pull back the curtain, the giggler said. Inchy inchworm flipped back the curtain. A boy cricket was lying in another hospital bed. The cricket had a broken leg. It was covered by a thick white cast. Hello, said the boy cricket cheerily. My name is Chris Cricket. I am Inchy inchworm, said Inchy inchworm. Does, does your leg hurt? Sometimes answered Chris Cricket with a shrug, but I don't want to gripe and complain. What about you? You are covered with red spots. I have a screechy, scratchy illness called itchy pox. Answered Inchy Inchworm. Oh yes, the old itchy pox. Nodded Chris Cricket. I once had itchy pox too. Inchy Inchworm and Chris Cricket talked quietly as they lay in bed. They did not want to bother the other sick patients in the Inchworm Hospital. Chris Cricket told Inchy Inchworm how he had injured his leg. I broke my leg playing kickball, chirped Chris Cricket. It hurt badly. Well, you never gripe or complain, grinned Inchy Inchworm. I won't fuss about my itchy pox either. Just then, the hospital room door opened, and in inch mummy inchworm. My little green and red spotted inchworm greeted mummy inchworm. I see you have a nice hospital room. Did you get your vitamin shot? Yes, and I didn't cry, mummy inchworm said. Inchy inchworm, I didn't cry at all. Daddy Inchworm will be so proud of his little Inchworm when he comes with me to visit later," said Mummy Inchworm. "Goodbye for now." The door of the hospital room opened again. Mummy Inchworm went out. Nurse Ladybug came in. "Inchy Inchworm, it's it is time to take your second dose of vitamins," said Nurse Ladybug. "This time you will take it." With a spoon, Inchy Inchworm watched as Nurse Ladybug carefully filled his spoon with purple inchworm vitamins. There is someone else waiting to see you," said Nurse Ladybug as she opened the door again. "Aunt Isabel Inchworm!" exclaimed Inchy Inchworm. "Inchy Inchworm, I brought you a gift," said Aunt Isabel. You must not open the present until you have taken your nap. I will not even give you a hint of what it is. Aunt Isabel put a little box on the table beside Inchy Inchworm's bed. Goodbye. I must hurry back home to your Inchworm uncle and your Inchworm cousins," whispered Aunt Isabel as she gave Inchy Inchworm a kiss. "I love you." Quicker than you could inch an inch, 
Aunt Isabel disappeared out of the hospital room door. Wow, who was that? asked Chris Cricket breathlessly. That was my Aunt Isabel Inchworm, said Inchy Inchworm. She is my mommy's sister. Your Aunt Isabel does look a lot like your mommy, said Chris Cricket. Yes, sisters sometimes look a lot alike even when they get big, grinned Inchy Inchworm. Aunt Isabel Inchworm's husband is my uncle. Why, your uncle and aunt's children must be your cousins, chirped Chris Cricket. That's right, replied Inchy Inchworm. We have a big, big family. There are lots of us crickets too, added Chris Cricket. Inchy Inchworm and Chris Cricket smiled at each other. They cuddled in their beds. Inchy Inchworm and Chris Cricket were very sleepy. They were ready for a nice long nap. I wonder what Aunt Isabel Inchworm brought me. <sighs> Yawned Inchy Inchworm as he drifted off into dreamland. I wonder what my present will be. Ah. <sighs>